Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to talk to you about launching your funnel, nurturing your community, and building your business ecosystem. And I am super excited about this topic because this is ultimately 90% 99% <laughs> of what we do here at Outlier Marketing Group. And so if you are ready to start building your online empire, this is the stuff, the stuff that you're going to need in place to really start to grow and scale. And if you've listened to any of my content before or you've partaken in the OMG show in any way, you know, you've probably heard me talk about these things in the past, but today we're gonna to talk about this from a very high level. And we're gonna look at this from like the 10,000 foot view when it comes to, you know, launching your funnel, nurturing your community, and building those, those business, that business ecosystem. And these are kind of like the, in my opinion, these are the three phases of growth that you need to help you get from where you are today to where you want to be. Now, there's lots of little things that need to happen along the way, including implementation, including mindset work, including getting new clients. But from a technical and strategic business perspective, these are the pieces that you need to have in place and have systems around to be able to grow and get new clients. So the first one is really launching your funnel. And when you first start your business, everyone often tells you like, hey, go ahead and get your website set up and do this and do that and do the other. I would contend the most important thing to do as soon as you start in business, or even if you're not new in business, is to launch your funnel, right? And a funnel is a way in which you can send people to a page on your website or in your program, in a program like ClickFunnels, to take the exact action that you want them to take. And so the launching of the funnel, I recommend, is the very first step if you're just getting started or if you have no idea what a funnel is, it's time to get one. And funnels are going to help you take cold traffic and people who don't necessarily know who you are and you're establishing that relationship with them and move them along in a meaningful way. And with no other option. And that's the awesome thing about a funnel, right? So it doesn't matter if you're new in business or not new in business or wherever you are, you need to have a funnel in place. And so I highly recommend in terms of building your online empire and building your business ecosystem to have at least one funnel in place. It depends on your business type, um, but we have like three or four funnels at any one time that are going. And that is because they resonate with different people in different places in their business journey. And so get a funnel up. That's like the very first step to doing anything and creating that ecosystem. And like I said, funnels are a great way to take somebody and send them there on social media and or send them there from your podcast or send them there for from wherever it is that you are want to send traffic. Like the funnel piece is where you push people to send the traffic. And this works for every single industry. It doesn't matter whether you're business to consumer. It doesn't matter if you're business to business. It doesn't matter if you are in the hospitality industry. You need a funnel. You need a way to collect email addresses and nurture them through that client journey to either get them into your retail location or get them into your restaurant or get them to get to know you better. You have to have a funnel because you need a way to collect email addresses and you need a way to take somebody on that client journey. That's number one, launch your funnel. Doesn't matter where you are in business. And here's the other thing to remember, folks. If you've been in business for a while and you've been using the same funnel, you sometimes need to hit switch it up. I will tell you, we've launched probably 15 different funnels in the last eight months. And the reason why we've done that is not every funnel is a hit. Like if you listen to Russell Brunson at all, he will tell you he has had some funnels that have simply just bombed. Okay. <laughs> and of course he probably doesn't have that as much anymore, but 
you have to just test, right? Because you might have one opt-in that people think, oh my goodness, this is a fantastic opt-in. And then, nope. <laughs> total crickets. And so that's the thing. Launch your funnel and don't be afraid to launch more than one. And if you've had the same funnel for a while and you're like, oh man, it's great, yada, yada. If your funnel isn't converting at 30 to 40%, it's time to consider a new funnel. Okay. So that's all about the launching your funnel. Now we're going to talk about nurturing your community. So you've started to create a list of emails and you've started your Facebook page and perhaps you're on Instagram or you're on, you know, other social media networks. You need to nurture those people. You can't just collect those emails and then go launch a program or go launch, you know, whatever it is, a big sale or a chef's dinner or, you know, for like, say a financial advisor, a whole, like book some consults, right? Like you want to book some consults so you can get some dollars in your business, right? Like that's why we're here. We want to get more dollars in our business, right? And so if you are not nurturing those people along the way, when you go to give that offer or do that ask, no one's going to do anything because they haven't heard from you in ages. And so I would contend you need to figure out how to have a content workflow in place, okay? That content workflow is something where, you know, the business owner creates a, I'll use us as an example. This Facebook Live that I'm creating right now is going to be used in probably 20 different places, okay? It's going to be used as an audio for the podcast. Snippets of it are going to go on social media. It's going to be used in our email marketing campaigns. It's going to be used on YouTube. It's going to be used in all of these different places. And so that nurturing of the community and giving people value so they can move the needle forward and get them closer to where they want to be and closer on that client journey, that is how you are going to build a business. You need to nurture those people and you need to feed them content where they say, hey, you know, this is awesome. I think that you're smart or they, you know, whatever it is, they give you awesome feedback. It's so so, 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 so important to nurture that community. All too many people are like, oh, I'm going to do one Facebook Live and then I'm going to launch a $10,000 program and then it's crickets. And so nurture your community. I cannot tell you how important that is, especially in this day and age. So pick a content workflow and a content amplification strategy that works for you and show up every single week and be consistent as you possibly can when delivering that value. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret too. The more that you actually go ahead and do this, right, the more that you do the Facebook Lives, the more reps that you do with the, whatever it is, writing emails, writing blogs, you know, creating audios, the better you are going to get at content creation and the stronger your brand voice is going to become. It's like going to the gym. The more you go to the gym, the stronger and better that you get. It's the same thing with content creation. The more that you create content, the better you're going to get at creating content and finding your voice. So nurture that community, okay? <laughs> and then the last piece is really build your business ecosystem. Now, I, <laughs> this is like ultimately you need all three of these pieces to build your online empire. And to me, the business ecosystem are the places in which you not only nurture, but you you give and you ask and that that and the business ecosystem encompasses that entire client journey. So it's not just the prospect side of things, right? It's that whole entire experience of from when somebody goes to not knowing you, say on Facebook, to becoming a client and a raving fan and sharing every single thing that you do on social media, they buy all your products, they buy all your whatever. Like Russell Brunson calls it the dream 100. They're the people who follow you relentlessly. They watch every one of your lives. They consume all your pieces of content. And that, to me, that's one piece of creating a business ecosystem. The other piece of creating a business ecosystem is having a value ladder or and or, which is the same thing, a suite of products, right? 
what is that entry level product that somebody can get a taste and a flavor for who you are and your style of work and then whatever those other steps are that happen along the way. And that's one piece of that business ecosystem. The business ecosystem to me is the product suite, the ideal client, the social media, right? Like what social media platforms are you on? All of the little things along the way encompasses that whole business ecosystem. That to me is so important, right? Like the emails that go out, the tone of voice, the, the Facebook, the brand, the logo, the images, all of that stuff builds your business ecosystem. And it's also even the process that you have when somebody comes on board. Like, is there a questionnaire? What's the onboarding style? What's the offboarding style? Like, how do you, what are all the pieces <laughs> that are part of that client journey? And what are all the touch points along the way? And a lot of times people forget, right? Like, oh, I got a client, awesome. And then there's no continued nurturing, right? And it's like, it's we also forget the easiest way to get more business is from the clients that we already have, right? Or to get referrals are from the clients that we already have and to continue to nurture those relationships. So the business ecosystem is everything from the start of the funnel to the end of the funnel after somebody becomes a client and that experience along the way. And it's so important to understand from a, culture standpoint and a brand standpoint, what is your business ecosystem? What does it look like? What is the first step that some, what is that first introduction and first experience that somebody has with your business all the way to the, to actually being a client? Like how do you nurture your clients? Do you check in with them? Do you say like, <laughs> do you send them little audio notes? Like I love sending Voxer messages to my clients to check in with them, to see how they're doing, especially like my private one-on-one -on -one clients. I also love to send cookies to my clients. <laughs> Um, I absolutely, I have an awesome client, Sweet Girl Cookies. So shout out to Sweet Girl Cookies, uh, www.sweetgirlcookies.com. They are like the most delicious cookies. And I send them to all of my private one-on-one -on -one clients who are in the U.S. So sorry, clients, if you're listening and you're not in the U.S., I cannot ship them outside of the country. Um, but it's, it's, I always send that little, like, it's going to be a sweet year or it's going to be like, I wish you nothing but sweet success. And I send those cookies to them. And then I also love love to like to write little like love notes to them and hand write a note and mail it to them when I see something that they've been struggling with and then they start to just crush it. So it's that whole ecosystem, right? That, that takes you in that feeling that somebody gets when they experience your brand and all of the touch points along the way. And, and it's so important to do that because that's how you're ultimately going to grow your business. Like I look back in the 14 years that I've been in business and we have gotten so much business from referral, like so much business from referral. And we've gotten so much business from referral because I have continued to nurture those relationships even after somebody becomes a client. I never, ever, ever want to be one of those people who is like, oh, I'm gonna, I continually ask my clients to buy stuff all the time. That's not who I am. <laughs> but but here's the thing, I will ask clients for referrals because I've nurtured that relationship, right? I am not afraid to say, hey, do you know anybody who would be a good fit for whatever it is? And that's the thing that I want you to understand. It, the relationship doesn't stop as soon as somebody buys from you. It's only just beginning. And that's when you build that complete ecosystem from start to finish, like you have your funnel, you have your way in which you nurture your community, and then you have like this ecosystem, right, where they all feed each other, right? That's how you can continue to grow and scale a business in a meaningful way. And if you're listening, this is not just for people in the online space. This can be used for people who are in the retail industry, who are in real estate, who are in hospitality, restaurant, whatever it is, you can take these pieces and apply them to those businesses. And I think the thing that I understand most and I hear people struggle with is they only get one of these pieces cranking. And when you only have one of these pieces cranking, 
you don't have that full ecosystem in place, right? Everything's not firing on all cylinders. And when everything's not firing on all cylinders, there tends to be a lot of resistance that comes up. There tends to be a lot of struggles along the way. And you aren't going to get to where you want to be, right? Like you'll get part of the way there, but you won't get all the way there. And so if any of what I'm saying is resonating to you, I highly recommend that you head on over to outliermarketinggroup.com and sign up for our Leverage the Power of Social Media um, opt-in on our homepage of our website. It will give you access to all of these awesome tips, tools, tricks that I am talking about on this podcast, on this podcast and on this OMG show. And it will also give you some of our most popular click funnels, shared funnels that you can literally just copy into your own click funnels account and use it to launch your funnel. And then you'll also get access to like these, how we nurture our community and how we build our ecosystem. So head on over to www.outliermarketinggroup.com and grab that freebie. I look forward to hearing and seeing you guys all next time. Have a successful day.